Hello everyone, coming up here on Vibe, we talk about P. Diddy. His homes has been raided by the Homeland Department of Homeland Security. We'll get to the latest on what's going on at the uh, alleged sex, tra the sex trafficking um, matter. We'll get to it right now. Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of Vibe. We talk about P. Diddy, the rapper, executive, entertainer. P. Diddy, his homes has been raided by the Department of Homeland Security. As they want to find out what's going on with Diddy, um, with the alleged sex trafficking stuff, ring. We'll get to that in a minute. But first thing, join in the conversation using the hashtag Viral Hill Connect. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe is caring. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing here on Viral. Let's get to the latest. Rapper Diddy. Yes, we know Rapper Diddy has been all over the news as late with, um, been in a lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend Cassie. Now, new light comes in terms that Diddy may have been part of a sex trafficking ring and he got his homes raided from Miami to LA. He won't believe what's going on. Let's get the latest on what's going on with Diddy. Alright, they just made their way in. Growing concerns today after armed Homeland Security agents raided the LA and Miami homes of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs Monday. Sources tell CBS News the simultaneous searches are part of a possible sex trafficking investigation by federal agents in New York. The fact that you see federal law enforcement raiding two of Sean Combs's homes indicates that they think that there is evidence of potential wrongdoing at those residents. You can see people in handcuffs outside of Combs's California property, though no sign of Diddy himself. For the past few months, Diddy, one of the biggest names in entertainment, has been embroiled in numerous sexual assault allegations. Last November, his former girlfriend, R&B singer Cassandra Ventura, better known as Cassie, filed a federal lawsuit alleging a long history of violence and abuse in the nearly decade-long relationship. She reached a settlement with Combs, while the entertainer denied any wrongdoing. Since then, Combs has been accused of sexual misconduct in five different civil suits, Jared Hill. CBS News, New York. As you saw right there, Diddy's homes being raided. We don't know what the Department of Homeland Security is looking for. Are they trying to get? But we're going to keep a close eye on this and see what's going on with Diddy. This is kind of um, unprecedented. Diddy's being, homes being raided. And uh, hopefully, uh, I mean, this is kind of a little bit shocking. We didn't never expect that Diddy would be um, part of something like that, but hopefully we'll try to get some answers while the time has come. All right, um, part of something like that, but hopefully we'll try to get some answers while the time has come. All right, let's hear what you people had to say. You people had a lot to say about Diddy. Let's hear what you people had to say. see a black man who came so far almost to a billion dollars fall down that's our inspiration for it ain't too many of us i don't want to see they took kanye down we forgot about kanye and the good thing he uh able to do is our man that's how i look at it man we losing another billionaire over allegations at this point still ain't no criminal charges you know what I'm saying? We only got about one billion out left. Who, Jay-Z? That's the only motherfucker left. Everybody else. Let's take the per off of it and, and who that person is, right? Man, listen. If Look at who is wishing this dude fail. You know what I'm saying? It's his own people. It's his own people cheering him, laughing, and Diddy did it, and coming up with new slogans for him. It's his own people, man. Like, so take note of this. Man, you would think, I don't want to see a black man who came so far. The mother He thought a year or two ago when we were popping Ciroc, he thought that we would ride or die for him, man. Like, he thought that the motherfucking world of hip-hop would stay down and 
over, over, you know, especially without him having a case, like, especially without him having a case, he would think, hey, man, they're going to ride for me. I, I live for this hip-hop shit. I live and die this shit. The hip-hop community is going to ride for my innocence. He would assume, I'm sure. Say, if he did that, then whatever he get, he get. But so far, I haven't seen no criminal charges. So out for that, I'm going to just sit back and hope for the best, you know? I don't want to see nobody go down, man. And for people to celebrate that, love that, want to see that, it's weird to me, man. So, like, it made me want to stay in the house. And people you would never, never knew they existed want to see this man, whatever. And if you if, if you work for me, if, if I uh, came up under you and you over me, fuck you. I don't want them up. He thought a year or two ago when we were popping Ciroc, he want to do no business with you. Fuck you, I don't want to see you in the streets, but do I want to see you go to jail for life? Nigga, like, you help me be a part of my play, regardless if I like you not. I don't want to do no business with you. Fuck you, I don't want to see you in the streets, but do I want to see you go to jail for life? Nigga, like, you help me be a part of my play, regardless if I like you not. I don't want to do no business with you. I was personally disturbed many years ago, okay? I... I... I know this man well enough to call him and say, hey, I need a favor. Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I and he said yes. And they were flying around one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet, in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member like well, what happened and they wouldn't say yeah and i'm like what what do you why did it end he wouldn't yeah. say and years later they finally came out and this a male yeah and said that uh puff had said come home stay the night with me or the internship is over and they said absolutely not he said absolutely not <laughs> and the internship ended uh but from there i was like Oh, like this is this is how it goes. OK, yeah. OK. Not now, bro, you got the rock and you got Buddy Harrell. You people had a lot to say. Some of you agree. Some of you feel like this um, privacy has been invaded due to him being an influential, powerful man. But we don't know yet what's going on. We know that Diddy's sons, both Justin and, um, and um, Pup, um King Combs had they had been arrested and detained. So we don't know what's going on. Even to this point right here, Diddy, we thought some people met allegedly thought Diddy was gonna be flown out. He was not going to show his face and flee the country. But Diddy was in Miami pacing around, wondering around what's going on with that. So we'll keep the latest on what's going on with Diddy and a lot more on this impending sex trafficking case that's going on with him. We'll get to the ladies on the next edition of Vow.